everyone, and welcome back to some more Christ Tales. Um, that's how we got this ginormous tower to rise, and uh, now I'm going to go inside said tower to recover the stained glass moral that was thrown into the ocean. And there it is. Also, I expected this tower to be a lot bigger, that's why we didn't continue on last time. I've had a visitor. And also Chris Dell's lost her Chris Bell's lost her time powers. And the last ones were a little more than thieves. Who? Ah, hello, darling. You must be a Oh, how interesting. Hmm hmm hmm. You didn't answer my question. Oh, sorry. I was admiring. Well, never mind. Well, hello. I am Paulina. Witness of the ages. Ah, oh, it feels good to be able to move again. My first love is fashion, but I'm always interested in talking to a time mage. A s Would you care to explain how you knew that? <laughs> I see your shorts match your fuse. Just because I look this good doesn't mean I can't also be good at what I do. I don't suppose you could help us figure out what to do about Crispel's powers, could you? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I won't be doing much of anything. It will be on you to remedy that situation. Just step over to the altar. Oh, uh, we have to. I thought it was a cutscene going to move us over. I feel something, but I don't know if. Oh, is these two again? You, what are you doing here? Just when Crispell doesn't have her pack. Ouch. Christopher! How could you be so careless? Ah, did you hear this, Claude? I think he really believes he'll beat us twice. Too bad we can only kill him once. Maybe her grace will let us rewind him a few times. For sport. Oh, poor Chris. <laughs> Everyone listen. We need to focus on inflicting as much indirect damage as we can. Now! Oh, that's very cute! Strategize all you want, we'll still pound you to smithery. <laughs> this will be interesting. I do hope you all at least put on a good show. Right, so there's not much we can do because we don't have time powers, so... We can use rust to shield. Oh, nice crit! There we go. And also, I think we can. Oh, how quaint! They've been training for this rematch. You do know we can be ruthless without being overconfident, don't you? So at least we've got some damage come onto them. I'm starting to get this timing down pat, you know. I think this is going to be one of those survival battles where we keep going for as long as we can. Why is this our strongest move? Why is the ball of water our strongest move? <laughs> Crystal, you need to reach out to the power of the cathedral. But how? Whatever it is you felt before, you need to find that again. Hurry! What is this? This doesn't feel the same as before. 
Oh, darling. Do I have to do everything around here? That kid with the big mouth. I'm sure you can feel something inside you. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> talking about me? Focus inside. And while you do that, think of the girl with the tragic fashion sense. Oh, dear. You do the same, girl. Except you think of the kid with the regrettably tacky goggles. <sighs> I'm trying. While you two try to connect, let me explain how this works. As you fight, you'll gather energy. Synchro points, if you will. When you have enough energy, you'll be able to activate a powerful synchronization skill. You can trigger it by just pressing the button. Right, so we just press triangle now. What's it? Oh, we just... <laughs> I was expecting like a big cutscene. I'll go this again. Damn it! Not this again! This is so unfair! Ugh. Quickly, back to the Empress. Are they actually dipping? Oh, yeah, so long then. Impressive. Synchros are powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle around. Always keep an eye on it and your friends, since you'll also be able to use this power on their turns. Don't forget to plan ahead. Remember that you don't lose stored synchro points after you finish a battle. Oh. The crystals. I have their power again. But that connection. What was that? I don't really know how it happened. Now we know that you're the real thing, darling. You just proved you have the power to link with those close to you. This seems like an incredible power. But be careful and take it slowly. I can feel it. I can feel your presence. All of you. I can feel it too. Does this mean we're combining our powers? Sinking would be more precise. We are using our powers in a more unified way. This seems to connect all of us, but only through Crispel. A great discovery indeed. It could have happened in a less dangerous way, though. Don't be so melodramatic. This is a holy place. You were never in any real danger. So what do we do now? Come on. We should try to rest a little bit. Let's find somewhere back in town. Come back and visit any time. Maybe I can even pick out something that would flatter your figure, darling. And off we go. Actually, what is this? Can I interrupt with this? I've always wondered if my calling in life was to design beautiful garments. Oh, okay, that's what it is. It's nice seeing this giant triangle on my screen again. It's just mother superior. Crispel. Mom? What are you doing out here? I have a favor to ask. Aren't you in a relationship with the most powerful man in the city? Why not ask him? It's not that simple. When Enzo came to power, he did a lot for the economy of the city. He found investors who helped us modernize the production of the rubies. What are these rubies? They're what you get when you fuse together a lot of red crystal dust. The dust exists as a trace mineral in many things, and it has magical properties. It has many uses in magic devices, and can even be used to create armor and weapons. That's why rubies are so valuable. We've been exporting more of them than ever before. But there are things about the operation that Enzo has been hiding, even from me. One of the teams of workers that went up Mount Thysia never came back. And we're going out there now, aren't we? The official story is that they were delayed by a rock slide, but I know it's not true. And now the people in Floodside are starting to notice. I'd like for you to investigate. I'm home for one day and you're already sending me away again? No, I just... I saw that fight you just had and... You and your friends are the only ones I know who don't work for Enzo. And you, Crispel, really are a time mage. Please, use your powers to find out what happened to the missing workers. I'll do it. Thank you. Come and see me privately afterwards. Oh, I've done this area before. Oh, my guy there is about to get attacked by some wolves. Oh, here we are. Yeah, we, we got a help buddy there. 
quickly. We should help him. Right, uh, let's just do some damage on this one, because we're going to do our insta-kill strategy. Do you find, I'm not sure if it even works on, like, event battles. It might not, but we'll try it anyway. Actually, you may not need to, I might just save the, uh... Yeah, <laughs> it was worth it to save it. All things considered, I think I'm well enough. Just had to move a bit faster than I'm fit to. Those wolves were unusually aggressive. I just wanted to gather some flowers. All of them had died during the fighting didn't have no place for him. So they built a memorial in the forest by Nareem. Anyways, my sister's in there. Didn't have nothing to do with the fighting, but it still took her anyway. Like I said, I just wanted to get some flowers for her. All kind of flowers used to grow on the mountain, but now it seems there ain't any. I'm so sorry for your loss. Is there anything we can do? Well... You could help me gather flowers for the memorial. Five or so different kinds should be good. Used to be. Folks would plant brightly colored flowers everywhere around town. Might be some older folks in town still have them. You could ask around. Well, the point we head there. Is that a blood waterfall? Oh dear. color is it not it's just the color the water takes when we harvest the red crystal red crystal is found in the soil here in small amounts plants absorb it and the animals eat the plants the animals end up with lots of the crystal in their fat and bones back in the day the people would pan for crystal dust in the stream some would also hunt old or sickly animals for it that's horrible as brutal as it sounds, hunting the oldest and weakest creatures keeps the rest of the herd healthy. I suspect the practice has become something else entirely now. They must be processing a lot more animals to keep up with the volume. Still... I wonder where we get some random encounters. It feels like an arrow that we... Did you just see that shit? <laughs> Did you just see that? <laughs> oh. Bruh. Did that machine just talk? You are disrupting the extraction process. What are you? I am a processing engine for red crystal dust. All these animals. Did you kill them? Why? My instructions require the processing of animal tissue to extract red crystal dust. Your presence is decreasing the efficiency of my operation. You must leave immediately. How many does it need to kill exactly? If you continue to decrease the efficiency of my operation, you will be designated a security threat. We're going to mess this thing up, aren't we? What happens then exactly? Efficiency has passed below the security threshold. Entering stealth mode. Oh, he's dipping. Quite literally for now. It, it disappeared. Stealth protocols unsuccessful. I am required to warn you before using force. Using force? Wait. Did you kill the missing workers? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
Skip the countdown. I'm gonna take you apart piece by piece. Oh, damn. Right, so now this is a... What exactly is going on here? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure what I need to do here. Right, so I'm assuming I might have to defeat the arms and the legs first. Well, just the arms. So how about... No, let's mess up this one. And I'm gonna put down one of these. Oh, now why is it doing that? Gosh darn it. If these armors paralyzed, why is it still attacking? Oh, this arms are getting weak. Oh. Repairing. It's repairing the arm. That must be the core. If we destroy it, we can probably stop the machine. Oh, so now we go for this thing. Okay, it's immune to lightning. Oh, so the arms are just a distraction then, you've got to survive against them. When this thing's weak towards him. Here we go, mess this thing up. Oh, Wilhelm, kill yourself, boy. <laughs> Oh, we did it. There you go. Wait, Warhol we'll learned some things. I feel almost sorry for it. For that 
monster? It certainly didn't understand what it was doing. It was just acting out instructions given to it by someone. Speaking of which... I am certainly glad it is gone. Well, we figured out what happened to the workers. We have to return to St. Clarity and tell Sophia what we saw. Preferably without Enzo noticing. That machine didn't get there by accident. And someone had to tell it to attack humans. It is a delicate situation indeed. But either way, we need to return to the... Oh, we're surrounded. Oh, boy. What brazen foolishness. Imagine returning here thinking we wouldn't know you sabotage our crystal processing. It's not enough that people within our own city tried to destroy the source of our prosperity. Now they're recruiting outsiders to help them. Treason after treason. No, we found a horrifying machine that was massacring animals and people alike. And what evidence of that do you have? Mom, she's telling the truth. That thing was a monster. Enzo, why don't you tell everyone how you've been stalking the forest with dangerous new animals to try and increase production? Or how the machine that's slaughtering the forest creatures was programmed to kill anyone who got in its way? Oh, damn. I think we've heard enough. Guards, take these outsiders into custody. Maybe they'll recant their stories after a stay in the dungeon. I'm warning you. I don't want to cause any collateral damage by getting into it with the guards here. Me neither. People around us could get hurt. Let's go out the way we came in. Guards, follow them! Oh, that doesn't look pleasant. You see that in there? Someone needs me, and this time I'll be there for them. I see. I'm one thing we do need. We need to get like armor. That takes care of that. You're pretty strong for a stomach on legs. You're not bad for a big mouth and a fancy jacket. Oh. We will have time to banter later. See the guy along now. Yeah, we did learn a bit of it. Wilhelm can now scan our um, opponents. And now we have intel on them. I'm sensing boss fight. This is like a boss fight area. You go around pulling levers without asking first? Well, we did it before and it worked. Besides, I just cleared the path for us to continue. Oh, we done goofed. <laughs> we done goofed. That's not. Everyone, on guard. Oh, no. <laughs> what a thing. It's charm. So that thing's not made Chris for attack us, I'm assuming.
Great, it's a mean to thunder. Brilliant. Okay, I have a plan. So it's gonna only kill someone or poison. I'm gonna let Kristoff die, bring him back to life, and then No don't do Oh, it's only on four HP anyway. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> right, so I got a plan. Doubtless will work, but somehow paralyzed it. I'm not sure what we did, but we paralyzed it. <laughs> Alright, you're the only one that could do it because he's still confused. God damn it. There we go, that was the plan. Can you snap out of being confused, please? And he's healing him, please! <laughs> right, we're not on the mannequin. Oh, we are in a bit of danger here. Right, okay, I know what's gonna have to be done. Okay, now you need to heal yourself. Oh, they're both put- Oh, no! Right, okay, that's what we need to do. We need to heal Wilhelm, and then Wilhelm heal you. Oh, and I, actually, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bring back Christopher. And then the thing will heal all of us. Alright, so whoever, whoever dies now, they're just dead for the rest of us right now. Okay, now you have no tail. So now you cannot poison us. So now you're just dead to rights. <laughs> One water bubble on him. And then Chris, Chris Bell will finish him. Yeah. That one took a little while to figure out what to do on. It was a trap. It led us right into it. Stupid. How could anyone have suspected something so vile? Chris Bell is right. That was almost too horrible to imagine. I just can't believe... I'm so sorry. Look at you. The people of St. Clarity need you right now. And you're crying. But Maestro, he's only trying... Don't you know anything? You talk a big game. But you've got a lot to learn about motivating your allies during a crisis. Fine. I accept that. I'm supposed to be a warrior, and I need to act like one. I'm glad you're coming to terms with it, but we might have a bigger problem here. The water is rising at an alarming rate. Hang on, I'm thinking. Think harder. Oh, oh, game over.
What do we do? We used the water to get out of the hole. Hang on, everybody. We're almost there. Audrey? Armando, give me a hand. I'm assuming it's this thing up here. to make I was the one who built the robot that you disabled that machine was awful why would you build something like that it wasn't the way I planned it Enzo came to me offering me the kind of opportunity that a creator like me only I hope you don't expect us to feel sorry for you that thing killed some of our fellow workers no of course not like all of my creations, it was built so that it couldn't possibly harm human beings. But then Enzo made me show him how it worked. And then after I installed it, they never let me near it again. So Enzo changed its programming? God damn. Yes. From the beginning, he insisted that it needed controls that someone like him could use. What happened after we left? Everyone is gathering at the cathedral. You'll find Enzo there. Well, now we've got a witness. Maybe when the people hear this, we'll finally be able to take action. We'll see you guys at the cathedral. Right. Actually, this is where we're going to end the episode. Because I've been calling for quite a while. So, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, and the bell set did. Take care, stay safe, and come back next time. Or we will confront Enzo in the cathedral.